Hey guys. <clears throat> Knocked over a chair. Okay guys, so we've been having a lot of meetings and discussions as a company as a whole lately. And my thought is, who's the brain behind all of these operations? It's Matthias. He's got a literal library in his home. He's all about, let me tell you about that fact. Let me tell you about this. Oh, you don't know when forks were invented? I'm gonna tell you about that because I know. All right, Mr. Big Guy, Big Shot, here's my thing. I'm going to set you up for potential failure. Some would say that's rude. Others would say it's the right thing to do. At least I think they would say that. Anyways, I'm gonna get him to come help me with thumbnails later this afternoon. However, what he doesn't know is that he's walking into a situation that he can't get out of, and that is a video shoot, where I'm gonna challenge him to a movie quote trivia challenge. If he says, oh, I don't know anything about movies, he clearly does because I did some stalking and some digging into his old Matthias channel videos. So he used to have a series where he would challenge his friends to movie quote trivia. Okay guys, so I'm gonna box Matthias really quick and tell him I need help with thumbnails. However, what he doesn't know is when he walks in here, it's not for thumbnails. I'm challenging him and he has no choice because he'll already be here. Yo, boss man, is there any way that I can get your help around one o'clock with some thumbnails? I just have a few questions. If you could just meet me in my office, if you have time, that would be awesome. I can't do one o'clock. How does 105 sound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that should work. Took you too long to respond. How about 106? 105 is booked. Okay, 106. I hate you. Thank you. I'll see you then. Ignore the t-shirt change I had to, uh, well, the outfit change I had hey. to do a thumbnail. What's up? Today, you're filming with Matthias, right? Because you're challenging his knowledge? Yeah. I'm gonna challenge you, because you think you're a jokester. I'm gonna have... What is up with all this challenging stuff today? Okay. We're gonna face each other, mm -hmm. you can't smile, and we're gonna laugh internally out loud. Wait, what? <laughs> how do you laugh internally out loud? Because you know how like, when people laugh, they like smile. Mm -hmm. You have to keep a serious face and yeah. pretend like you're laughing. Because you're funny looking. <laughs> Thank you. So as I was saying before Michael walked in, I wanted to update you guys because some of you guys are new here, some of you guys aren't. Through this whole process, I've been signed to Chill Records, which is now called High Five Music, by the way. I am an artist. I'm signed to their label. I'm making these videos so you guys get to know me a little better and you get to come along in my life and meet my friends and do funny, quirky things. But we have for a long time now kind of put music more so in the back burner to get YouTube going, basically. And we've brought Michael onto the team. So now he's really kind of taking over a lot of the channel duties. He's scheduling, he's writing, you know, we're brainstorming together and stuff like that. He's taking over a lot of things that I was in charge of for quite a while, which is super, super, super nice of him. And it's literally been amazing. It takes a lot of stress off my plate. So with that, I am now expected to write three songs a week. However, I shouldn't say I'm expected to. Like, yes, it's an expectation, but it's also something I wanna do because it's making me become a better writer very quickly, but I'm also getting a huge catalog of songs to pick through. So that process started two weeks ago for me. Finally, I'm in a position where I can go in the studio and we can experiment and try different sounds. If you're new here, I am a recording artist. I do make music and I do have a Spotify and I have an Apple Music and all of those, all of those platforms. Just look me up, Rose. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Okay guys, Matthias should be here any minute. We've got some we trivia set up for him. So I'm just gonna be hey, hey, hey. Oh, you're just ready. You heard me come in or what? I was talking to them. You know how I said thumbnails? Yes. It was a lie. You lied. I did. Is that typical of you? Yes. Anyways, we're gonna do a movie challenge because, well, I wanna prove that you don't know everything. No, you're trying to out me as a non-knower. Sit, enjoy yourself. What's up, we're here with, you know this guy, that's Matthias. And we are gonna be playing a movie quote trivia game because sometimes I need to challenge you and sometimes maybe you need to lose. Rose loves to challenge people. I do. Round one, we're gonna spin the wheel. You got two options, that's it. Disney movie trivia, Michael is behind the camera. Hi. So if it lands on Disney, we have to give a quote for the specific movie that Michael is gonna give us. Oh. If it lands on movie trivia, trivia, we have to answer movie trivia. Sure. You go first. Okay. Get out, get on out of there. Movie trivia. The question is, what flavor of Pop-Tarts does Buddy the Elf use in his spaghetti and elf? If you get this, I will be amazed. Oh, I get to do it? This is your question. 
Don't do it. No, I'm not ready. The the one that everyone likes. What flavor is that? I know the flavor that he ate, and yeah. it's the one that most people like. Which is? Which is? Witches. What do witches have to do with this? It's definitely like a uh, fruit de toot. <laughs> no. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm between strawberry and chocolate. Wrong. Strawberry. And yours was fruit de toot? So no, mine wasn't. <laughs> Both wrong. It mine was, was. Was it chocolate? Cho chocolate. Dang it. It's movie trivia. What was the first feature length animated movie ever released? Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Correct. Yes. Welcome. Mm -hmm. It's this nasty time. All right, you time. gotta name a quote from Aladdin. Dirty dancing. Aladdin. All uh, out like song track lyrics. Prince Ali, something, something. Oh, yeah. come on. Blah blah. All right, Did man. I get a point for that? Mm -hmm. Okay. What? Ali, what is it? Some, of um, Oliva, I believe. No, she didn't. She goes, Prince Ali, Babwa. <laughs> she didn't even say Ali Ababwa. <laughs> Prince Ali, mighty is he, Ali Abab. Wow, and he says he doesn't know movies. I might give him the point. You know what? Go ahead. Movie trivia. What is the highest grossing R rated movie of all time? R? It's a multiple choice. Ready? Yes. Logan, it Paul? or Joker? It's gotta be it. You're wrong. It's, it's Joker. It's Joker. <laughs> Your movie to name a quote from is it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh boy, I am Groot. I'll take it. Disney. All right, you gotta name a movie quote from Moana. <laughs> Moana of Matanui. You wait. <laughs> <laughs> Disney. All right, Disney. you got me. The Incredibles. Jack, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Jack. No, you can't just say names. That's that's yeah. disqualified. You said Moana. Of Mata Nui. Jack Jack, get back here. <laughs> <laughs> Darling. <gasps> oh, no capes. I'll take that. Thank you. Movie trivia. Who was the only non-Jedi in the original Star Wars trilogy to use a lightsaber? It's got to be be one of the main characters. <laughs> Either Han Solo or Princess Leia. Ding, ding, ding. Correct, yeah, Han Solo. Rose, <clears throat> what actor feels the need, the need for speed in Top Gun? What is it, Tom two movies? Cruise. Yeah. Oh, they got ding, ding. The need for speed. The need for speed. All right, give me one quote from Toy Story. I'll take any one, one through Any four. Toy Story? Hi, I'm Forky. I mean, I would have said to infinity and beyond. Mm -hmm. That's not in the Toy Story. Okay. That's only in the commercials. <laughs> Who did his voice? My dad. Buzz Lightyear's voice. If you know it, I'll give you Tim an extra Allen. point. And Tom Hanks did Woody. All right, Blet, that's two extra points for Matthias. I can't hear you right now. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, now for this round. We're What's doing this round? We're doing Pictionary. So Matthias is gonna be pulling movies out of a cup. Pull. They're written on a paper. He's gonna draw them. I gotta guess them. And then however many I guess, that's how many points he gets. He has a minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Starting now. Right now. <laughs> Shrek. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cars, car bottle. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. What is that? We got a different one, cause, okay. Hair noodles. Mallage. <laughs> Divorce. Dead. Three, two. The <sighs> wedding crashers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're starting. Oh, now it's a chocolate bar. Mm-hmm. Piece of paper. You're talking <laughs> disqualification. <laughs> Fine, I'll move on. Girl who had big head. Ah, monster. Oh no, the fish lover mon movie. No. Ah, uh, it's the movie where the woman falls in love with a fish. It looks like a McDonald's character. And woman plus monster. Woman monster. Like a beautiful woman and a hideous monster. And they fall You know in love. exactly what I'm saying. This is that you movie. You are sabotaging me. This is that movie, the fish movie. I got Guillermo a point. del Toro. I'll, I'll, I'll give you Thank the point. Thank you. You're a sabotager. It's a building. Uh -huh. The office? Fast and Furious. This is what I'm working with. <laughs> what human is that big compared to a building? Ha. Godzilla. Hmm? No. Think about other movies that have this exact scene. <clears throat> the King and All His Men. I'll give you the point. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> the king and all of his men. Thank you guys so much for watching. Me. Yeah, really. He won. If you like this kind of content, here's a playlist. People like this stuff? I mean, you're here. I'm here. It's true. Thank you. I'll see you guys next time. What would you have done Can for Devil Wears Prada? Never invite this man. What would you have done?